Chicken Stacy. I just want to take a couple minutes to say uh, thank you so much for your amazing podcast. You bring us every week. Amazing guests, incredible stories. You guys are the best. And uh, the Rocky Bubble that you've created is fantastic. And I just want to wish you and your families a very safe and happy holidays. All the best uh, through Christmas and the New Year's. As you can see, the tree is up. It's looking great. Anyways, thanks very much, guys. And as always, keep punching. I'll see you guys. Are you in there? Uh, <laughs> Mike, oh. Listen. <laughs> Hello, Stacy. Are we doing a podcast now? Yeah. Can I can I have a little bit of your attention? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. I, I apologize. I get so into reading Christmas. You know, this is my favorite time of year. I, I rearrange my schedule. I do everything I can to spend as much amount of time uh, with uh, the people in my life I care about. And so, you know, when, when I'm not with them, I like to read about Christmas. And so I was just reading the night before Christmas. It's Aww. something I do every night before I go to bed. But, you know, I was getting a little tired today. <laughs> and I thought I'd do some reading because, hey, what wakes you up more than reading? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the rest of you guys out there. Stacy, do you have any Christmas pre uh, like um, uh, uh, stuff around the house, like Christmas decorations that you really love, that you count on every year? You can't wait to see them? Well... <laughs> Yes, I like to piss off all my friends with my Patriot Santa Claus. That's the most fun I have. Oh, really? <laughs> I post that and I always get reactions. Get rid of that Santa Claus. Wow. That, that, uh, not Santa Claus, uh, Snowman. Get rid of that oh, Patriot gotcha, Snowman. Gotcha, so gotcha. It's so funny. So, and then, um, As in I, the football team, the Patriots. Uh, yes, the football team. <laughs> that is, I have to tell you, that is offensive. <laughs> As someone who significantly thinks Tom Brady sucks and is overrated as a human, that's offensive. But that's okay. That's okay because it makes you smile. Yeah. Well, it's it's fun because I know how much people hate the Patriots, so I just do, throw that out there. Do you know what makes me smile? I I have a little <laughs> something here. I brought this. Have you ever heard of James Way? It was a department store back in the 80s and early 90s. James I Way. I don't recall that. No. It no. was sort of like a big lots. You have big okay. lots? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Mm -hmm. It was like a big lots. Anyways, I have what appears to be a prone sleeping Santa Claus, oh. okay? <laughs> However, if you listen. Of course. <laughs> That's oh look at that. No. Look at that. Ah, huh? uh, that's right. It ain't Christmas until we start playing this song. How did you find that? So it's at a big lot? It was at James Way. James Way. Pardon it was me. at right. James Way like 25 or 30 years ago. Wow. Sue and I were out shopping one day, and there it is on the shelf. We pick it up, and she hits it and she goes, Oh my god, get over here. <laughs> And so it was on an end cap. And so I come, I go, why? We're looking for Christmas. Day. She goes, this is the ultimate. I don't think we've ever changed the batteries in this thing. It's got to be like acid corrosion, but it's still working it's in there. It's still go. That's kind of weird. It's it's the crazy. 
that it's still going all this time that's weird it's it's crazy listen speaking of christmas what about mm. that opening video you just played I can know. we can you talk about that a little bit who Absolutely. did that why did they do that that is our very own Tim Wistard, and he is our video guy, and he always makes all our tribute videos for our guests or birthdays. He's starting. You know what's so cool about what's happening? He's actually starting to carve out his own little business. Now people are contacting him saying, hey, can you make a tribute video for my son or, you know. Wow. Yeah, so I'm so excited. So, Tim, that was such a beautiful video. That tree, oh, my God. I think The tree, the topper, <laughs> all of it. I think I'm that wins you. the award for the the best rocky tree ever. Now, Stacy, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm not. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't last year on Christmas Day, didn't I post a picture of you did? tree and Sly loved it he and, did? and wrote a little reply about it. Yep, and you we're know, gonna we'll post it again. Yeah. I'm telling you, the Rocky Files stick with us. We will not steer you wrong. Okay. <laughs> now, Stacy, I got to tell you something. You've not mentioned anything yet, largely because I haven't given you a chance to speak that much because I'm such a fool that way. I'm not in my basement anymore. Yes. Look I'm actually in I'm actually in the lobby of our home office. OK, right. yes, yes. In Pottstown, Pennsylvania. That's where our home office is this week. <laughs> And it may look like the a living room, okay, where people live, but mm -hmm. I can assure you it is the entranceway to a multi-floor skyscraper that is our home office housing yes. our team that brings you these videos every uh, – this podcast every week. So. Yes, it's very festive. Who did all the decorating? Was that Betsy from HR? <laughs> so Betsy we, – well, Betsy's – she's pretty good, but she's not good enough. And so oh. – I uh, I told her she was going to bring in her husband, but I said, no, let's hire professionals. We hired a mm -hmm. team of 140 people to decorate this place. Yeah, yeah. 140 people. Wow. It's, yeah. It takes a village. <laughs> takes a village. And they all got paid on bad jokes. They just said, okay, bad jokes. Stacey, well, it looks lovely. <laughs> we need to get out of this. Let's move yes. forward. <laughs> anyway. We need to move forward. Uh, I'm just going to say, quick, Tim, thank you for your video. And thank you for all your kind comments about the Rocky Files. We we do appreciate that. that was and, you, and the support, fun. everything, Tim. You, you've yeah. really been a just, um, I think you've been pretty, pretty supernaturally fantastic. You really have. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. He's so good to us. And I, we have two December birthdays. Now, there's probably more December birthdays, but these are the two I know about. <laughs> okay. So I just wanted to say happy birthday to Karina, way out in Romania. Oh, wow. And yeah, and Gina C., who is Tony C.'s wife, they both have birthdays this month. And I just wanted to say happy birthday in a big to any birthday. other, yeah, any other December birthdays. I'm sure there's others, but um, I am not aware of them. Uh, so happy birthday to you, too. <laughs> so this is a very special message that I want to send out. So Balboa Yo, who is Justin, his lovely mother, Diane, here she is. We did a post about her. And I, as a nurse, Diane, I just want to say, and we all know, but she's going through chemo treatment. And I think she has mm. a couple more treatments left. And, um, you know, for Mike and I, we just wanted to say, you know, sounds cliche, but keep punching. Yeah. Uh, you, you have Joanne out there, Larry, and, and others. We've had many guests who have faced cancer and in, in the trudging through cancer treatment is is very difficult but uh just to show her one more time this is diane and we wish you well and um you're going to be okay because you have all the rocket community behind you you're going to do very very well you've got that love that positivity and it, that's what that whole thing is that whole rocky spirit it is about keep moving forward hopefully you know we'll never have to know what that's like but for those of us that do know that yeah. uh, it you're right stace it is kind of a cliche thing but <laughs> what's the what's the other th the other thing is you, give you up, don't right play, give up. <laughs> that's, yeah. yeah that's that's the other thing. we're not doing that <laughs> not going to do that not yeah. on, not not on our watch pal no so, so hang in there yeah hang in so. there and, and Justin, you know, I'm sure, and it's very hard because you feel very helpless. You know, you, you're, you love this yeah. family member or friend and, and you feel like you can't, you want to control more of it than you can. So, you know, I just want to uh, give a hug to Justin as well as he's supporting his mom. Cause I know that's difficult. Um, 
Uh, what was the other thing? So we had some fun. So I'm going to put in a picture here. This is Brock and Sean. They, uh, Brock was one of our guests. And uh, yes, and so they come through. He has a company uh, called Wind Supply, and he has one of their sites is right here in Clarksville, and then there's others in Nashville. So he comes through every now and again. And so last summer we got together. He and his daughter Allie and I went out for a lunch, and then this time, his wife Sean and and Brock they came down to Nashville, and so they reached out to Kevin and I, and we went to dinner with them, and we had a blast. It was nice. So, Brock is such a funny guy. I'll put up his episode number here. Everyone should go back and watch his episode. Funny, funny guy, and it's just funny. You know, I had never met Sean, his wife, and just you know, he's the life of the party, and Sean the whole time. You know, like when you have to brace yourself, like, oh my god, what is he gonna say? Yeah. <laughs> Sean was so funny. She's just like, oh my God, uh, you know, and she's a teacher and she told me all these teaching stories and it just, it's amazing what teachers go through. And I just want to thank her because ugh, dealing with people's kids is not easy. Can well, I, tell you? I, I think hmm. teaching and nursing are two very noble professions <laughs> that I think are similar in certain ways. Yeah. Um, and, and to, to go down in, into that field, that that's a big road to go down because the, 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 the training, the discipline, and like you said, having to deal like, okay, as a nurse, you got to deal with all types of family members, but now you got to deal with kids as a teacher. You yeah. got to put up a little Joey who stinks. He hasn't taken a bath. He's pulling <laughs> little barber jeans, pigtails. Yeah. And I mean, <laughs> Where are we, Little House in the Prairie? I'm not sure, but <laughs> kids, kids can be little brats. And as a teacher, yeah. you are limited. Yeah. You know, back I, I tell a story all the time of how in, in the 70s, teachers could just slap you, kick you, throw mm -hmm. the eraser, the big thick chalk at you. <laughs> but today they can't touch you. No, nothing. And they they did that to me. And 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 I definitely was the better for it. So uh, I don't know. I mean, I think a little physical <laughs> beating every once in a while is good you for know. kids. It keeps you in line. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, at least it gives you something to be afraid about. Of you know that's what I mean? That's the thing. Yeah. You that's, know. that's the thing. So I'm glad you guys had a great dinner. What? Well, uh, yeah. What? You went for what? A dinner? Food? Yeah. Yeah. We just went to Longhorn, which you know, Ooh, I uh, yeah. Good place. Good yeah, place. Yeah. We just went there, and I know it's a chain, but um my husband has a very plain palate. And so that's, that is a menu that, that he picks from and eats from. So oh, I love there. long, uh, you know, that yeah. they're, they're great. Yeah. They, we were they there really for are. three hours. It was a were lot of really? Yeah. We were there. We just chatted away for three hours. So, and, that's uh, great. and they both say hello to you and, you know, oh, Bra the, uh, that's yeah, great. Brock went on and on. He goes, he's just such a great guy. He's got that genuine heart. He said what he said, it was, he, he under, you know what I'm saying? He understands your goodness and oh, i just well, well, go, yeah go ahead, Stacey. Let's yes you're more what? what did he say about me <laughs> he was talking about the tour no no stop stop i'm kidding i swear to god i'm kidding that you set me up i had to say something no well, let, come on let's move on I, brock thank you i i appreciate it Seriously. all good things i, I love say. you brothers all, all thank you things. yeah so that was fun so uh, moving on to our next thing. So we had a little change. We were expecting, uh, his name is uh, Santa Maverick was going to be our yeah. guest today, but he got pulled away to a rather <laughs> important detail. Michael, yeah. do you want to talk about yeah. that? Yeah, he has, um, I, I, I'm not going to mention what his job is, but his job is very, very uh, high level. Um, yeah, it's a, that's a good word for it. It's a very high level job. And he uh, he got pulled away at the last minute today, which mm -hmm. which is OK, because, um, you know, he's um, he's a guy I would want there. So, uh, so anyways, what we're going to talk about, my friend uh, uh, Rosario Smyrny, he, he, he he's from my hometown. He's from the Scranton area. And um, he he's he's done this. We've had him on the show before. Stacy, maybe you can throw in the episode number right here. Uh, yeah. and, oh, there he is. There yeah. he is. So he's Santa Maverick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, why is he putting his finger and, and leave this up for a second? Sure. Why does he, why does he, why is he giving you the shushing sound? Because he also runs a company called QBC, which is quit bitching coalition. Mm -hmm. And, and I love this because 
it's very much in the Rocky format of don't point fingers at mm-hmm. other people. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, just don't blame people go out and do it. Even if it is their fault, don't worry about it. You mm-hmm. go and find a way to make it happen. He yeah. has a clothing apparel line, which we'll put links up. Uh, mm-hmm. You can go to his website at Santa Maverick uh, mm-hmm. uh, online, Google him, And he's got a whole link tree there of all his things. It's amazing. But the one thing he's done during COVID, I wrote some notes here. You'll see me reading off the paper. I didn't want to forget anything. Um, he lives in uh, down in Mount Vernon, which is in, I believe, Alexandria, Virginia, mm-hmm. uh, down in that uh, area there. He came up with an I- idea during COVID. Kids couldn't get to Santa, right? They right. couldn't get to Santa. So what? What? how could he help these kids tell Santa what they want? And he's all about Santa. Now. He put a mailbox on his property. He made like this Christmas themed mailbox Mm -hmm. and children and their parents can drop off letters as long as they have a a, um, a, in the letter. There you go. Mm -hmm. As Mm -hmm. long as they have a letter, uh, a return address somewhere in their letter, Santa Maverick writes the letters uh, back and he's getting very, very creative. Uh, he's using all the types of red envelopes and a leather seal to it. And it, he really is taking Aww. the time. Yeah. That's so he's so gone sweet. from a hundred to about 300 now. So he's really, really kind of doing it. He's really, he, he has such a passion for children and he's got a bunch yeah. of kids himself. And he, he really, he never forgot that magic of Christmas and what it's like. And for yeah. me, I, I, this is a guy you have to take your hat off and you have to kind of, you got to bow to you. You really do because so many of us get so caught up in our lives. We, we don't do something like that. And when I yeah. tell you people, he has a life that's easy to get caught up in very busy. Yeah. He is trust me. So uh, to do something like this is remarkable. And the other thing he does is he, he wants to reinvent the concept of Santa. Not not like what Santa does, but the look of Santa. That's why he's Santa Maverick. He right. goes out on his own. And there right. you go. He wants to be a little bit hipper, a little yeah. different style. And he gets actually hired like I do for Rocky gigs. He gets hired for Santa gigs with corpor- corporations. And, and, and I love that. And he's slowly building the business. Again, we're going to put in more information about him. But I, I, I thought, but there he is. There he is with his son. And, and his kid also wrote a book and i think this is the kid's second book uh, this is this is amazing to me it really is they got invited to the white house that is the white house there in the background and wow. there he is we the people holidays at the white house 2022 i'm telling you what show these people some love buy this book you're gonna love it check out the other books written and i'm telling you that you're really gonna find it uh very very uh, interesting we're gonna get him and maybe for the new year's we'll bring yeah. Santa maverick in yeah. and get a little more detailed version of it yeah. Yeah. Well, he's, uh, yeah, it was too bad. I was very disappointed because he's so Christmassy, but he had, uh, he, he is, some he is security, gr- security yeah. to take care of. <laughs> yeah, he did. And I wanted to see him with his whole yeah. regalia on. I wanted mm-hmm. to see him all dressed because his beard is getting thicker now, you know, and I can't grow a beard. I was always, I'm always jealous of guys who can grow a beard. <laughs> Actually, I knew a few women who could grow beards uh, <laughs> thicker than I could. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I won't mention any names, but uh, I I did have a prom date like that. Hey, now's the time. (laughs) I got a good back to school story, but I'll save that for the new year. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't gotten to that one yet, but I'll I'll get I'll I'll get to that one and and how how people are even cruel as adults. But. We'll come. Hey, we'll come back to that. Yeah. Do did you want me to play his little his video? There was. He oh yeah, we video. we have his, yeah. we have Ross's video. Please go ahead. He he also raises money for um a uh, cancer so uh for kids. So go ahead. Yeah. Hang on. Okay, it's time to give a special shout out um, to my team, the whole uh, Team Quick Picture Coalition NFT community. We're in, uh, on a mission to raise as much money as we can for Heart of a Hero, which deals with childhood cancer. To date, this check says 2500 We've actually written $3,500 worth of checks in a little over a month. We got our lofty goals, but we're going to accomplish it for, for these children and for this great charity. A lot of people said we were crazy to do NFTs, but we're doing a lot of good things with it. Oh, nice. I mean, I, you know, the other thing, it, it, he's not a guy who the way he looks mm-hmm. does would not it. You would not think 
He is the type of man he is, the yeah. soft and generous heart he has. He's about yeah. six foot four. He's just a massive mountain of a man. He's a big dude. Yeah. <laughs> He's a guy I would not want to owe a hundred dollars to. Okay. But he will I, break I, your thumbs. <laughs> he will break my and put my spine in the, the form of a pretzel. Yeah. I, I I genuinely there there aren't many people out there that I got love for, but Ross, I love you, my friend. I yeah. got nothing but freaking love for you. Thank you for all that yeah. you do. Yeah, it's so true. And with all the craziness out there, and sometimes we only focus on the bad. To, it's so yeah. encouraging to see someone doing so much good with such a pure intent. I just, I love him. He's a sweetheart. You know, yeah, Stacy. You know, you and I both we have con you and I have conversations throughout the year about all the ugliness in the world, all the mm -hmm. negativity in the world, and a story like this is something that just it hits you like a lightning bolt and it says, yeah. wait a minute, not everything is so ugly. There yeah. is beauty in, in the simplest of things. Yeah. And, and, and this is something I, I really hold on to in this season. It's, yeah. it's what the season is about. It's not yeah. about marketing or merchandising right. or how many toys you could buy or Christmas decorations. It really is about what you can do for your fellow mankind. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the thing. And, right. and, and, and uh, Ross Smyrny is someone who understands that he comes from a family who, who understands that his family is equally as beautiful as he is. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's next, my friend. All right. So we're winding down. This is a quick one. <laughs> We're like, having, yes, this is a this is a quick one. We're gonna get some holiday cheer. Today. Well, Stacy and I are going to the holiday our, our the Rocky Files Christmas party after this. That's the big secret, right? Shh, yeah, yeah, that's 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 it. It's cats out of the bag, and so we're we're going to the. We want to get out of here. We want to get our uh, wine on, and we we're just gonna you know dance the night away, and I don't know, punch frozen beef. It's a whole Rocky theme. Christmas right, thing. like an obstacle course. <laughs> yeah, chasing chickens, frozen beef. Where it's actually at the Rocky Step. So if you guys are around, just meet us out there in like twelve right. minutes. That'd be a good idea. Do you know how many people want us to want to do an experience with the Rocky Files? Can I tell you? Know that, you? Uh, I'll that tell you what. I, I like that. I think that could work. Let's work on that. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's do something in Philly. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, I we we really we get we get that request a lot, so that is something we need to seriously talk about. Right. Uh, so while you're all out there Christmas shopping for the Rocky fan in your life, if you come across a store or a kiosk that looks like this, they are selling this. The uh oh, uh oh, 2023 Rocky calendar. Yeah, look at this. So I didn't even know it. Kevin and I are doing some Christmas shopping and I'm walking and you know, you just, you're looking in and I was like, screech. <laughs> I was like, what's that? And Kevin's like, Oh, here we go. Nice. Nice. <laughs> and so I ran in and I got mine and, and so here's June. You know, the problem with that picture, the problem with Rocky three, he's just so damn ugly. I know. In that picture. Right? He's so hard to look at. <laughs> look at you. You're married. I'll have to edit that out. I'm married to him. <laughs> oh, so anyway, you can start your year off right with that calendar. Uh, listen, I actually have a few things of my own. Christmas That's came right. A little, yes, Christmas came a little early here at the Kunda House. So Let's we're uh, Sue's already gone in. Uh, this is what is today? Wednesday? Yeah, it's late Wednesday. So mm -hmm. Sue's already gone into to Scranton, and I'm going to be going in very early in the morning. We're getting a snowstorm tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., so I want to be in Scranton before then. And so we opened up presents last night, and on the Stallone shop, oh, got caught up in the wire here. On the Slice Stallone shop, they have a one of those bomber jackets, yeah. and this one has the Rocky logo, a Letterman jacket. Uh, it's got the it's got the buttons in the front here. I know you can't see it. I know it's so dark. I have, yeah. I have the Christmas lights on, but it is a uh, you know Letterman yeah. jacket. It's yeah, really cool. send me pics. I'll put in. I'll cut it in. Yeah, send me. I pics. will. There's the Rocky logo, and she got me one of these. Um, really cool. It's a a Letterman sweater. Nice. Oh, I yeah. love it. Yeah, nice. Rocky, big R, Rocky. So it's nice. I will send you pictures uh, because I didn't think about the sun going down. And I thought, okay, the lights are going to look nice. The tree is going to look nice and everything. And <laughs> it's right. oh, well, you can't see me or you can't see my gifts. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, send me pictures. I'll cut them in. And what and do you got? What do you got? A throw rug? What do you got yes. there? Uh-oh. 
Look at that. Does this place stink or what? This whole place stinks. <laughs> so, yeah, this, I have to say, this is really nice, heavy quality sweater. I was actually going to wear it for this episode and mm -hmm. I had it on. Any of you in cold climates, this is going to keep you warm all winter. I mean, it's really heavy, very well made. And, um, you know, here, here's some details. There's the, nice, and that's the, exactly the same at the waist. It's really, really warm and cozy. So that is nice. that Fly Stallone shop. Um, and it runs, you know, this, this is an extra large and, um, I like extra room and I got it. So this is, it definitely runs. I think it runs a little bit big, which I have found that the t-shirts run a little bit small. So this ran right. bigger than I expected. So Part of me wants to return it for a large, but anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but it is, it's a great, great heavyweight sweater. All right. Well, if you were, listen, don't, don't return anything. Mm -hmm. Just hold on to it. Cause it's an extra large. You said, right? Yeah. All right. That's yeah. what I want. And so I want mine to be a little tighter. So, okay. uh, if, if you decide I ordered one. But of okay. course, I always get my stuff last. I see everybody online getting all their sweaters and it's aggravating me. I don't have my sweater yet. <laughs> it's really aggravating. Oh, and, well, that's and, a bummer. Yeah, you go figure. I wonder why that is. Hmm. But anyways, I uh, if you don't, if you decide you want to get like a large or whatever, mm -hmm. let mm -hmm. me know. I will buy that one from you. Oh, okay. All right. That Definitely. Works too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just keep that in the back of your noggin if you decide. Okay. Um. Then uh, our fans, our, our Mr. Larry here, I wanted to show him off. He, oh, he look at him. Sent that to us. Doesn't he look awesome? Look at him. So handsome, handsome bastard. He is, and, and the again, blue eyes on this one. Have you ever, his eyes are the bluest blue I've ever seen. I know. I fell in yeah. love with him on the tour. I know. <laughs> I, I, know. I thought I, I, I really, I, I wanted to walk up the stairs hand in hand with him. <laughs> but seriously, he's another one with that, the beard. He's got the beard, man. I can't. That's yeah. it. That's 20 minutes worth of growth. He <laughs> shaved. He told me about this picture. He shaved about a half, 30 minutes before he took this right. picture and Amazing. it grew right in. I'm growing a beard now nearly <laughs> seven months. This is as close as I get. Oh my gosh. So this, we all know this picture right here. Love that picture. I love this. And so he and his wife did a reenactment. Look at how adorable oh, they are. Look at that. <laughs> look so at much. that. Isn't that cute? They're so cute. I love them. I love it. Anyway. All right. That's all I got. <laughs> Stacy, I hope you bought your ball gown. This is a very formal Christmas company party. Right. It's the first yeah. one we're having. The limo Since... will be here shortly. <laughs> to okay. Come get us. All right. So you, definitely you and Kevin and, uh, you know, Kevin, I know he didn't want to wear a tux. He's wearing a t-shirt with a tux printed on it. So. <laughs> uh <are> so <laughs> Corny. Could you imagine? It's like attacking. something out of something out of an Adam Sandler movie or something. Right, exactly. Hello, I'm here with my tuxedo. Oh, that's really good. You do a good Adam Sandler. You know, I think I do a better Adam Sandler and a better Paulie than I do right. a Rocky. And that's, that's crazy. not true. That's absolutely not true. <laughs> but anyway. people do impressions are more stupid, Rocco. <laughs> Stupid. All right, listen, now I've had enough. This is it. We're out of here. 2022 <laughs> is a close. Put it in the books. We'll see you people in two weeks. Maybe we'll do a recap. Maybe we'll have a guest. I don't know. Maybe the screen will get darker on my end, so you really can't see anything, Stacy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, so <laughs> that's Merry everything. Christmas. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah, Hanukkah, whatever it is you're celebrating. All the holidays. Own it. <laughs> Go for it. Love it. Live it. Do it all. Happy New Year's. Don't drink and drive. Call in Uber. Stacy, nice. where where can people find you? I am over on Instagram at Had Me at Yo and also the Rock at the Rocky Files and on uh yeah, Facebook at the Rocky Files podcast. Bingo. And Michael, where can people find you? Uh, people can find me at TikTok, TikTok Rocky. Uh, yeah. That was a horrible, hellacious, uh, you know what happened on the Titanic? Okay, that's what was happening to me over there. And right. all of a sudden it got turned around. I don't know what happened, but man, I got a lot of good people in my corner over there. So look for me at TikTok Rocky, the Yo Philly Rocky film tour on Instagram. And there's a little book I wrote called... <laughs> Cue the Rocky music. She's got it. It's probably too late to get it in your stockings, but it's not too late to get it for New Year's. And there's a little movie about me called 
The Pretender. And it's written by, it was done by my great friend Jimmy Toscano and his crew. It's on um, a Peacock streaming series, uh, 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 series. It's also on uh, Amazon Prime, Tubi Television, and a whole bunch of places. Link in my bio on Instagram. You'll see it. it it'll take you right to it. Thanks, everybody. Stacy. Merry Christmas, my friend. Merry Christmas to you and Sue. Keep punching. Keep punching. <laughs> bye bye.